I was going to preach in Ekpoma. And a witch doctor wrote a letter. We had a former admin there. Wrote a letter. And said they should advise me not to come. And as a woman of God I respect so much, this witch doctor had attacked that woman of God and she now had a stroke one part of her body. So she told them to write and to plead with me that wisdom is the principal thing. That I should not come. Honestly, I had not concluded because I was very, very tired and I had not concluded on going for that program. I was having two, three programs before that one. So I was already tired. So I was imagining if I go to this other program, go to this one. Before I go to this, I, I can, maybe I'll send somebody. So my plan was to rest, conserve my energy. Next day, go for that first program. Three days later, go for the other one before the other. But as soon as I saw the letter, I don't know where strength came from. So I called him. I said, who wrote this? I called him. He said, who wrote this letter? He said, he just came and he said, you should not go. So I'm thinking that maybe you should think about it. He wasn't afraid. He just said, I think you should think about it. I said, I'm going. He said, sir, he brought the letter of that lady. I said, I am going. I told him to increase the publicity. And I replied. Letters are meant to be replied. It's very ethical to reply letters. So I replied the man that if they born his father well, and they born his juju well, let him attempt what he wants to attempt. And if he doesn't attempt it, I will attempt what I want to attempt. So I took out time, prayed, prayed, took some scriptures, went to the program. Some people here were in that program. The man sent rain. Some people here were there. Rain was falling around the field, but did not touch the field. When, hold on, when you go out from the field to the road, you'll be soaked. When you enter the crusade, no rain. So people that wanted to avoid the rain began to run to the field. So I stood up there. I said, I know what is going on. It was when I say rain, cat and dog. So the crusade was packed out. So I said, Lord, this kind of native doctor, you don't kill him fast. You kill him instrumentally. Bury him strategically. I said, Lord, we remove the, in the crusade, we remove the roof of his house. And we prayed. The wind went to his house, carried the zinc, took everything out. I was in the hotel the next morning. Policemen came. The man went to the police station and said, I invaded his house. So the police came and they said, I'm under arrest. I said, what have I done? They said, they brought you a report that you took off somebody's roof. I burst into laughter. I said, did, did he tell you how it happened? They asked him. He said, I sent rain. Please say, ah. Uh -uh. And you brought us here? We thought he came to the house with people. So he said, no, it was rain. People did there. People did there. They did the crusade. He took him. He took him. He said, rain. Rain. Come on, my zinc. Rain. I get witness. I get witness. They say, oh God, that's not witness. Witness is that they saw him in the act doing it, not saying it. He said, I get witness. I get witness. He come out my zinc. And I burst into laughter. I said, sir, today we'll come out your door. <laughs> we'll come out your window. You are afraid because a witch doctor threatened you. The earth is the Lord's.